Hi guys, this is Riza here. Welcome back to my weekly readings. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, prosperous and very abundant New Year that's coming up really, really soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed a couple of the videos that I have put up in the last couple of days regarding the sunrises here in Daytona Beach. They are awesome. Very, very beautiful. This is a very blessed and small place, but I do love it. And it is the home of my son and my grandson. So, you know, I come here often, <laughs> a couple times a year anyway. I would like to let you guys know that I do appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart, all of my YouTube family, for all your comments, your likes, your shares, for the people that do communicate with me through email. I appreciate you. And I hold a very special place in my heart for you guys. I needed you to know this. I will also put another mini video out for New Year's as it is in the middle of our upcoming week just to give you a heads up on that. And this video that I'm putting out today will cover the universal energies for us for the week of December the 27th through to the 2nd of January. So Happy New Year's guys. I love you. I'll put out a video in the middle of the week for that but I want to give you a a pre-Happy New Year's <laughs> because this holiday season may be a little um, difficult for some but the new year is going to bring in some positive new energy I just know that I feel it there's gonna be a lot of changes that are gonna come up for all of us so just be prepared that things will change they're not going to remain as they are now there's big changes coming for us but we need to believe it we need to look forward to it. We need to release any negative energies or negative thoughts or patterns or behaviors or addictions that we have now so that the, our new year looks way brighter than ever expected. The first card that we have showing for us today is the Seven of Cups. Again, a beautiful deck, a little different from what you've seen me use before, but it's my Merry Christmas deck. The Seven of Cups tells us that we may have lots of opportunities that come up for us and we might be a little bit confused as to which direction to take because the winds are going to be blowing us in one direction and perhaps our heart wants to go in another direction. But we need to stay focused as some things are pipe dreams and some of them may not be. <clears throat> and we need to be able to discern the one that's real from the one that isn't. And as you can tell, I've been doing a lot of talking, so I have to clear my throat often. Sorry about that if I lose my voice, guys. Just bear with me. So, as I was saying, remember, the Seven of Cups portends lots of passages or options or ideas that we may have, but not all of them are good paths to follow. So you need to center yourself. You need to focus yourself as to what is real and what isn't. What is a pipe dream? What isn't? what is a good path to take where you see yourself succeeding five years down the road. Those are the ones that you need to focus on. Also, this portends surprises, psychic dreams, connections to others. The next card is the Eight of Cups. Another beautiful card. The Eight of Cups speaks of someone that wants to change their path. Perhaps they have found that where they have been up to now at one point brought them happiness, but now it does no longer. So they want to go ahead and focus on a new direction, something that takes them down a new path where they feel happier, where they're more connected to spirit. As you see here, there's a priest here that's reading the book of knowledge, drinking of the cup of knowledge and thinking that it's time to change. It's time to change my path. It's time to go deeper into teachings, learning a new path, perhaps, that's more meaningful. So with these two cards together, it's telling me that you're thinking of ways to be able to free yourself of perhaps a situation, a place where you live, a job you may not like anymore, a job that perhaps doesn't bring you the happiness that it once did. So together these two are helping you discern which are the paths that 
will lead you nowhere and which are the ones that perhaps you should investigate or embark upon. And you're going to start thinking about that this week. The Six of Swords shows, as you can see, see the little boat here in the background taking a little journey and you have buried your swords of discomfort, of struggles that get you nowhere. You have kind of broken through some of the obstacles that you were facing, some of the indecisions that perhaps you didn't you didn't have clear here. Okay? And you're embarking on a new path, a new journey, which is what this card also tells me. So it's a double whammy. Some of you guys really, really are going to change the path that you have been on. A house move, change of environment, change of workplace even so everything for you may change a total transformation should be at hand from what the cards that I am seeing here and there's going to be a long journey for some of you for some of you it may be just a metaphorical journey in your mind what you will and will not deal with anymore and for others it'll be a journey to a different land perhaps overseas perhaps to another country but it is a journey nonetheless you're going to cut out the things that mean nothing to you anymore, or the things that are just not that important anymore, and head out on a new quest. This card here is the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins portends a new job that's coming up, a new financial venture, abundance, prosperity, something wonderful, perhaps even inheritance for some, as you see two angels here holding up the coin on a beautiful, beautiful card. I love these cards. They're amazing. But there's a new path that's opening up, guys. So this trip that you're taking, these new decisions that you're making to change your life, also comes at the end with a new job, new prosperity, a new field that will open up for you that perhaps will bring you some happiness and lots of abundance. It's the beginning, but nonetheless, a beginning of something special. The Queen of Mary, I did pull that deck again. The first card comes out and says, I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. So by changing your diet, by changing your path, by taking a hold of some of the addictive behavior, negative thinking, removing negative people from your life, or just in general, a path that you have been on that brings you no more happiness. It did once. So it wasn't always a bad decision. It just isn't what you want to continue to do anymore. So by having that self-respect, helping yourself become healthier, become happier, that is a perfect decision or a great direction that you're going to be taking on. And again, I got the prayer card at the bottom of the deck. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation to bring about some real, real solutions, okay? So continue to pray, continue to try to connect to a, higher, to a higher self, to a higher power so that it can help guide you because I know that sometimes making big decisions in life are very difficult. They're very hard to do, but yet they need to be done. Sometimes it's very important that you do it. Other times you have opportunities to make these changes and because you procrastinate or wait too long, the changes, the, the opportunities, the people that would have been there to help you won't be there anymore. They're, the opportunity kind of goes. So you need to, once you get the guidance, you need to follow through with it because the energy, the field, the people, everything won't always be around to help you. For those of you in the romance area, I pulled the card as well for this week and it's saying this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So for those of you out there that are looking to hook up with someone or they're looking to, I don't know, become involved with someone, you've already met the person that you are seeking. So um, if you've met new people recently or started talking to people recently, they could be your soulmate. So you need to uh, pay attention and see where that guides you. I've pulled a couple of cards from the energy oracle deck which is a deck that was gifted to me by a friend and they are very very beautiful but it's showing me again the same pretty much in the same uh, order the cards indecision there's going to be several paths that will open up to you 
and you need to decide which one is just a dream or it will lead nowhere and which one is the real thing. Even if it means staying where you are and trying to make the best of the situation that you're in at the moment. And for some, it's totally a brand new path that opens up that you do need to walk through the door. You need to take that path. Sometimes fear will hold you back. But the angel of balance comes through to let you know that you need to gain balance of your thoughts, your direction in life, what you want to do. Open up that channel to a higher connection. Because it's asking you to, to regain balance. Something is out of balance in your life and you need to figure out what that is and bring it back into balance. So that you can move forward. So that you can make the decisions that you're being asked to make at the moment. You need to open up the channel to the divine. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, ask the angels to help you open up, clear up that path to the divine so that you can hear your guidance a little bit clearer. That way your decisions will be made easier once you know what direction to take. You can flow through because usually it's not easy a lot of things will come with it when you're changing your residence or you're changing the country you live in or you're changing uh, partners place of employment there's a lot of situations that will come up uh, a lot of people that may be upset at your decision and then comes a lot of other work that you need to do after that so that you can get yourself on track again so it's not easy but with a bit of strength, and the angel of strength is here to tell you that you do have the strength of a lion. You need to move forward in your life so that you're not stagnant, so you don't become depressed or oppressed any further because you don't think you're strong enough to make the move that you're being asked to make. Okay? So hang on to your strength because you do have it. By making the changes, the door to romance will open as well. Because perhaps you'll go somewhere new, do something new, and someone new steps into your life. And it opens up the door to romance. You'll fall in love with yourself again, with life again, and perhaps even another person. So keep that in mind as well. Because by making those healthful changes, by loving yourself again, you can attract someone new. You also need to work on your second chakra. The second chakra card has come up again. This is all about your creative energy, your passions, your love for yourself and for life. You need to strengthen that in order to help you with these moves that you must make. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the background a bit. Know that I love you. It's coming from my heart to yours. I'm in a different place, so the energy is a little bit different, so perhaps I'm a little bit more... And a lack of words or just my energy is different in this place so i hope you still enjoyed the reading i do love you know this from the bottom of my heart and uh, many blessings and i'll talk to you again within a, the next few days bye for now